So the last requirement of this problem asks us to make an adjustment for the available for sale portfolio to its fair value at the end of 2010. It's also known as marking to the market. And so that's what this video will do. We'll now take a look at the portfolio that's listed down here and mark to market. So here's just a blown up version of that uh, matrix of the stock. So when we purchased all of these stocks, we had a value of 97,650 go into the stock investment account. That was our cost. Subsequently, in 2009, we had a, a fair market value adjustment for $1,300. So the total, when you add those two together on our financial records for the stock investment, is really 98,950. So you can't forget about this market adjustment account, the valuation account. What's happened is the stock, these individual stocks have increased in total up to 101,500. And we have a current value in our records of 98,950. So we take 101,500 and subtract 98,950 and it shows we're short by 2550. So we have to have another market adjustment uh, for the 2550. Maybe I can move that up so you can see it a little bit more. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, so, let me just straighten this out here. So the 25,550 is added to the value of the stock, which marks then to market the portfolio, and it gets added to a, the gain as well. So now we have a, a, a net unrealized gain of what it was in 2009 plus 2010. And our journal entry looks like this. We debit this market adjustment for available for sale for the 2550, 2550. And we credit this unrealized gain dash equity because we're using the these are available for sale securities. The intent to sell them is not soon, so we bypass the gain from the income statement. It goes right to the component of stockholders' equity. And so this is to mark to market uh, the 2010 portfolio of available for sale securities. I just want to make one last note, and if you um, have worked through, through the trading uh, securities problem that I've posted, you'll notice that this unrealized gain and loss account clears out every year. But that's because it goes on to the income statement for that appropriate year and then gets flushed out of this account at the year end as part of the closing process. But if you have a balance sheet account, which this now becomes, this unrealized gain, if it's an available for sale security, then it doesn't get flushed out every year. It remains in the unrealized gain or loss account. So hopefully you're able to follow that. If not, you can see me and I can explain in greater detail. So that wraps up this problem and all of the corresponding uh, requirements.